Hello and welcome to the Gunpla Network broadcast. Let's start with the news. Last week, Bandai revealed the latest P-Bandai, the EX-02 Castria. The kit will be released in July 2017 and will sell for 3,780 yen. The kit look great and I love the Castria, but I find it hard to justify that price point for an EX model. We got a new high grade Zaku one coming out. The Shar Zaku from Gundam Origin will be released in March 2017 and will cost 1,700 yen. The kit looks great and it's nice add on to the HG line. We finally got an official box art and release date for the HG Atlas Gundam. The kit will be released in March 2017 and will be sold for 2,300 yen. I love the color pattern of the Atlas, but man, this kit does not work for me at all. A new kit from Arrow Blooded Orphan has been revealed, the high grade Kimaris Vidor. The kit will be released in March 2017 and will be sold for 1,512 yen. And since it's an IBO kit, you can expect a lot of stickers. The kit looks alright, not a huge fan of the drill, but I mean it's the Kimaris and Vidor mashup together, it's not that bad. Bandai released the official box arts for the regular and premium version of the Master Grade Providence Gundam. Don't forget, if you buy the premium edition, you will receive a special Zaf Gun Plastin and a special Water Slide Decal sheet. So here we are, the moment you've been waiting for, the top builds of the week. We will tweak. Instead of a top 3, I'm changing the formula and we are going to do a top 5. We have so many talented mod builders in our group that it's beginning to be harder and harder to only select 3 every week. So here we go. In 5th place, the Master Grade Zeta 2.0 Gundam by Mitawi Kitsuru Suren. Sorry if I just butchered your name. Sometime, a light pen gem and a good shading gem transform a good looking kit to an awesome looking kit. And that's what Mitawi did here. And look how glorious that Zeta looked now. I don't care if Camille's main name. That Zeta Gundam got huge balls of steel and I respect it. In 4th place, the HG Gundam Barbados Lupus Rex by Haseo Wu. Remember what I just said regarding a nice pen gem and shitting? Well, there you go. Look at that. It's better than the anime version. It looks gorgeous. You can see the different shading of yellow and orange and the V fin and the skirt. All these small details that you can only see by only looking at it more closely. Masterwork here. In third place, the perfect grade MK2 by Chris Macabre. For Chris, it's all about details, and you can see it through the chest where you can have a look at the mainframe, or even in every piece of armor with all those metallic details. The small shading details look great, but that Gundam face plate really brings the overall thing to another level. In second place, I call it the Buster Strike Blanche by Kiko Yoko. This is not your typical Gundam, this is a death machine from outer space that absorbs the soul of his victim and transforms it into pure mecha energy, you puny human. Seriously, wow, what a mud build. I don't have much information regarding that kit, but kudos to Kiko, this is an awesome kit. And in first place this week, the Barbados Astray by Angelo Kibon. I love me some custom build, but I want is something else. Angelo kit match the MG Astray Sangoku, the MG Red Frame, the MG Camphor, and the AG Easy Harm, and that motherfucker create that beautiful piece of art. I want it, where can I buy it, and I want to be Angelo's best friend from now on. Great build, great job, and that's what we love to see in this group. Congratulations. So this is it for this week guys. We would like to thank you, because as I'm writing these words, we just hit the 500 members in not even a month. And we are still growing. You guys are fucking awesome. And you are the best builders in the world. We have many more surprises for you down the line. And we are grateful for your contribution to the Gunpla Network. So this was Danik. For anything Gunpla related, please stay connected to the Gunpla Network.